Hi everyone, it's Chris here from the Southwest Shooters and today I'm just going to talk about gun safety. This is going to be part of a series, all right, and I'm going to use this squash racket to just demonstrate some of the concepts that I'm talking about. The first thing that I want to talk about is that gun safety is the most important thing whilst, whilst you're shooting, okay? Your safety, everyone else's, is the most important thing. Far more important than the kind of gun you're using, whether you hit the target, the ammo you're using, the shot count of the gun, all of those things. The most important thing is safety, all right? Now, the reason why that's so important is because shooting is an enjoyable thing, all right? And it's a privilege to be able to do it, but we need to look after ourselves and those that are around us. So if you're shooting with a friend, uh, there could be other people in the vicinity. You need to make sure that everything is as safe as possible. And I'm just going to address one point in this video, all right? And let's pretend... The reason why I'm using the squash racket is you'd always have to assume that the gun is loaded. Okay, I'm going to say that again. Always assume that a gun is loaded. Now, the reason why I'm using the squash racket is because it's not a gun. Okay, so I can dramatize what I'm about to do safely. Okay, so on some guns, uh, for example, uh, wire arcs, um, and some day states, for example, the manometer to tell you how much pressure is in the gun is at the barrel end of the gun. Now, I've heard some people criticize guns for the manometer being there. And it kind of gives you a false impression. You would never really point the gun at your face to see how much pressure there is inside of it. There's a very easy hack that you can do. Okay, so I can see the Dunlop sign very, very easily there, like that, or even like that. Okay, the gun, if this was a real gun, is not po pointed anywhere near my face. And assuming that there was no one st stood above me, this is a safe thing to do. I'm not pointing the gun in my face. Okay, that would feel very, very unnatural to me. Okay, and I just want to finish by giving you a quick story. Okay, when I was at university, there was a forensic science module and there was a ballistics component. And the lecturer organized for the police department's firearms squad to come down to the university and show us the firearms. Now, I was just shooting uh, for fun back then with a, with a spring gunner, an air, uh, an air arms. It was a Wyrock HW77K. And I thought that was pretty cool, but they brought in all of the guns that they had and they were in a big box. And the, there was two of them, and they would always check that the guns were empty before demonstrating them and sh showing them to us. And there was one point in the uh, day, we were all sat in a big circle, where the guns went around. And um, I was like talking to my friend, and I got a tap on the shoulder. And uh, my friend, and he was my friend, Julio, held the, the unloaded shotgun right up into my face and I turned around and the shotgun was there and my instinct was to scream and jump on the floor because that was it felt like a natural thing to do now it wasn't in good taste from Julio at the time but it proves a point always assume and behave as if the gun is loaded even when it comes to doing things like checking how much pressure there is still remaining in your gun. That's it for today, for this informative little video, okay? And what I can do real quick is I can just demonstrate how this would work for you with a real gun, okay? Here we go. Okay, so I've got my Daystate Renegade here and I'm gonna practice what I preach. Okay, so the manometer is there on this gun. But notice, I'm pretending that the gun is loaded, okay? There's n no magazine in it or anything like that. The safety's on. But rather than looking directly down the barrel of the gun, I can see that we're on 100 bar just from doing that. The gun is not pointed anywhere near my face. Okay, it's completely safe for the context in which I'm working. Obviously, if someone was stood 
behind me, I'll ask them to move, or I could angle it in another way if need be, and I can tell that the manometer is on 100 bar, so it needs refilling. Now, okay, potentially it would be slightly easier if maybe if the manometer was um, on the bottom of the gun, maybe there, okay? But I guess everything's sort of a compromise. You could still have safety issues if you were to move the gun in that direction, okay? So for me, I'm very comfortable just going, okay, great, no problem, and uh, refilling like that. Um, again, making sure that yourself and everyone around you is safe is the most important thing when shooting. Stay tuned for more, and we will see you soon. Take care.